What's up guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Gunther Oka, I'm a professional wakeboarder, water sports enthusiast of all sorts, and an AXIS team athlete. Today, in this video, we're gonna be covering a walkthrough and review of the 2023 AXIS T220. is the upgrade from the previous year model T22 and is also the little brother of the flagship model, the T250. You can find more about the T250 in the video here. The T220 comes in at 21 feet 11 inches with a capacity of 15 people and has a dry weight of 4,850 pounds. The fuel tank is 58 gallons and the ballast comes in right around at 4,200 pounds. Also for reference, we've got the M5 in this boat along with running in about 20 to 25 feet of water with the Power Wedge 3. We're gonna start with a quick walkthrough of the boat, showing off all the ins and outs. And then after that, we're gonna get out on the water and see what the wake and wave has to offer. And while this is a 22 foot boat, it is one that packs a mean punch. Having the T standing for traditional bow paired with our Wake Plus hull, which is essentially a hull that's designed to produce a bigger wake and wave when the boat's running at those slower speeds. So this thing's primed up for a great time on the water. But let's start on the transom of the boat and see what's back there. We're on the transom of the boat and standing on the platform, the one thing you'll notice right away is just how spacious it is for starting and ending your session on the water. Plenty of room and also the soft grip flooring on the platform is gonna be really nice on the feet and you'll find that flooring throughout the rest of the boat as well. On this T220 is equipped with our performance surf package. If you look down, you'll see the Axis surf gate system and then underneath the platform, we've got the Power Wedge 3 paired with the Wake Plus hull and the surf band. You are guaranteed to have an amazing wave behind this boat. As we move off the platform and onto the sun deck, we've got our awesome little storage compartment here, which is great for all your wet ropes and is even doubles as a life jacket warmer. We'll take this off and take a look at the Malibu Monsoon engine. This is the Malibu Monsoon M5DI, coming in with 360 horsepower and also a lot lower emissions and a lot lower noise output than the previous models. Also, this engine's upgradable to the M6, which would give you plenty of power underneath the hood for this boat. Next to the engine compartment, we've got our port and starboard lockers. These lockers are super spacious and have all the room that I'm looking for to add as much weight as possible. Also, I'll give you the quick breakdown of what the weight setup looks like in the T220. Our internal hard tanks are gonna be two 335 pound tanks under the port and starboard side. Also running through the center, we've got our 485 pound tank. That'll be the hard to internal ballast. The rear lockers hold a 550 pound bag in each side, something we'll definitely be utilizing. Then all the way up in the bow, we're not there yet, but there's another 450 pound bag underneath the front seats. As we move off the sun pad and into the lounge area of the boat, we've got some awesome features going on. The first one that I really like is our Skybox pullout seat. A super easy seat that pulls out and offers a really nice footrest and then as an upgradable option also comes with two backrests that'll slide in here, giving everybody in the boat an epic viewing area of all the action that goes out on the water. The next option that I absolutely love is that all of these seats are on flip up hinges. So making sure that you can really access everything you need with all really just the lift of a finger. On the port side, you're gonna have a really deep storage compartment and on the starboard is where your ice box and cooler is gonna be. We've got plenty of cup holders to go around as well, making sure there's never a drink that doesn't have a place. And then once again, just really nice deep storage compartments through the port and starboard side. Along with the cup holders, we've got our soft grip phone holder, which is a perfect place to make sure those phones don't go sliding around the boat and stay dry. The AW20 tower is a great addition to the T220 as well. Coming with our bungee board racks, these are great to have, you get one on each side. However, I would recommend upgrading to the PTM clamping edge board racks. Those are a total game changer. Here, we've got our six and a half inch wet sounds, plenty of volume, plenty of sound for all the riders out the back. The Bimini on the T220 has also had a very nice facelift from the T22. With the Bimini covering much more surface area of the boat, giving all your passengers a lot more shade, and then also having these really nice zip up pockets to hold surf ropes and really just anything you need up there. The helm is the best seat in the house, making driving the boat for long days in the water super easy. Comes with the bolster seat that flips up, allows for extra visibility over the mirror, and then also just the nice option to move the seat forward and backward, and then having the sub on the floor by the feet, extra sound, extra good times. The best part of the helm seat is the axis dash. 
coming with a variety of touchscreen packages with all of them offering amazing utility and visibility for the driver. You're looking at our Sport Dash. This is gonna have the touchscreen, the Sport Dash redundant buttons, the Bluetooth sound system, and then also the phone holder. We do have two other options as well, with the baseline package being our Core Dash, which comes with the touchscreen, just the start and stop button, the Bluetooth stereo system, and the phone holder. For our premium Sport Dash option, you get all three of these, plus a wireless phone charger here. The Axis Dash didn't have my heart in the beginning, but it's absolutely grown on me the more that I've used it. With having so much open space for the driver to see, have a clear line of sight in the path that they're going, and also having the soft grip up here to hold your phones, hold your snacks, I really just like what they've done with the layout. We're gonna move into the bow, and along the way, we're gonna stop at a feature that's a nice upgrade from the T22, and that is gonna be the walkway trash can. Super easy for making sure the boat stays nice and tidy, and also cleaning things up at the end of the day. Now we're in the bow of the T220. Love the traditional bow, the way that they've kind of bent out the front to actually give it way more storage and way more capacity up here than a traditional bow would be. So really a big fan of that. And then also to recap on the weight setup, we've also got that plug and play bag right underneath here, giving you that extra bow weight. It is a hot one out here. So we're gonna go hit the lake, cool off, and show you guys what the wake and wave looks like behind this T220. incredible time in the T220. I haven't spent that much time in the boat in the past, so this really caught me up to speed and showed me just how amazing of a 22-foot boat this thing really is. The wakeboard wake was amazing for all skill levels. That's what I'm gonna call it, all the way from beginner to that pro level riding. The wake surf wave on both sides, from port and starboard, had so much push behind it, was a ton of fun, and the foil wave was very, very nice. Huge shout out to Tommy's of Orlando for hooking me up with the T220 to walk through. Also, check out your local dealership to get yourself in one of these bad boys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. I hope you enjoyed the content. We'll see you next time.